Hey guys, what's going on? It's Constantine back here in Borderlands 2. Um, my last two videos were quite well received, so I figured I would just play some more Borderlands 2. Um, in this video we're going to be going over some tips for all player, all, all kinds of players, beginners, veterans, whatever. If you find any of these tips useful, leave a like down below, and if you don't, leave a dislike, it's only fair. Now, tip number one is for, like, literally any game. I find most of the time that I have, like, a severe amount of trouble with the warrior. I'm not sure if it's just because underleveled loot or I'm not actually playing the game like I should be. But just to make this kill go by quicker, I'm using over leveled loot. But there's a secret area over here. Once I get all these mobs out of the way. If you go here, he can't touch you. It's basically invincibility. I don't know if this was intended or if it was a glitch, but any rocks you throw at you over there. If he shoots his tail, slag, beam, whatever, it'll just hit here. Kind of waiting for him to, uh, do, there we go. Alright, and this area is completely safe from lava rising. Just trying to get him to spawn here. Of course he didn't, why would he? Go under! I think I might have uh, chosen two over leveled gear, but uh. Yes, there we go. If he comes up here, it's kind of hard to hit there or his mouth. So if you go over here, I didn't even know these were here. If you shoot those, this works as a great spot too, just like his chest. easy kill. You see, like I said, I'm using over leveled loot, so this is going to be obviously be quite f quite a fast kill, but uh, it's just going to be it's going to be as easy. It's just going to take longer. Let me just pick up all this iridium. Now, the next tip is check the weapon and ammo vendors and all of them. They can spawn some really good stuff. It's not very well represented by this, but uh, um, just make sure to, whenever you're near one, just check it out, see what's there. Because it could spawn a legendary. I'm going to get the freaking movie for this, so I don't want to go in here, but whatever. I don't know why I still get the movie for I want to eat uh, your babies! Son, this might sting a bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, we all know who Dr. Zed is. See, the look, money, there's blue I'll here. That could have life. easily been a Next legendary. To death, just think. <laughs> An important thing to note <laughs> is that the vending machines. And the actual person who owns the vending machines will never have the same loot. Why loot the dead when you can buy from me? It's like if you go to Marcus and shop at his shop or talk to him to shop, then it won't have the same loot as if you just walked up to a gun vendor. I'm starving! I wanna eat your babies! Son, Doctor Zed is broken. The one exception for this is Dr. Zed because from me, just note what's here live. and then if you go over Welcome here Dr. Zed's there's different stuff clinic. but this what one right I here is the exact same stuff. Try not to die. So far nothing good. This isn't helping prove my point.
See a purple you. weapon or purple grenade mod with basically no effort. <laughs> All you gotta do is cough up the 50,000 or whatever it's gonna cost to buy it. All right, I'm gonna stop doing those runs now. Um, I didn't find anything good this time, but I have found, like, I remember once I was just going through the uh, Dragon Keep DLC, and out of nowhere, just found a legendary Siren class mod in a vending machine, which I used from like level 30 to like 50, until I found a better one on the train in Mercenary, Gingerton. All right, so the third and final trick is. Pretty much the exact opposite to the first one. It's for really, really Sick early game. Like right at the end. Oh boy, I'm trying to phase lock already. But in certain areas, if you're looking for more XP, you can uh, run ahead at Claptrap. Like go. over here. If we don't get my eye back, we'll never get to Sanctuary. If you run ahead at Claptrap here, and jump down here before he falls, then it'll actually cause the uh, bully monks to spawn twice. Once when you get down here and th again when he falls, which can get you a little bit extra experience for getting your action skill just a little bit quicker. You like that? You'll need and that funny little really robot's help, help to reach Sanctuary, the last bastion of the resistance against Jack. And the only place you'll be truly safe. Get to sanctuary. See, look, he's gonna fall down here. Eventually. And then more bully monks spawn. Man, you would never have thought I literally just did this. But yeah, that almost. Is I'm now almost. Level before, two before I even fight Knuckle Dragger. And you know what? I'm here, so you I might as well kill Knuckle Dragon. I yeah, yeah. Thanks, friend of friends. Yeah, no, clap for Hey, kiddo, Jack here, president of Hyperion. Let, let, let me explain how things work here. The Vault Hunters show up, Vault Hunter looks for the new Vault, Vault Hunter gets killed by me. You see, you see in the problem here? You're still alive. So if you could just do me a favor and off yourself, that'd be great. Thanks, Pumpkin. With this strategy, you're pretty much guaranteed to level two by the end of by the end of getting out of this stupid glacier. Oh, this one. You'll you'll be level two by the time you get to Flyersburg. Man, we'll show us a way to shut all the characters up and just go through this game without being nagged. Oh. Now, I'm sure this trick works uh, in other areas too. It's just. Uh, oh, God! They're coming out of the wall, Spankers! Look at that. Ow. Yeah, I'm sure this trick works in other areas and later in the game, but. Uh, it's more specifically helpful at the end of the. or oh, at the beginning I of the game. Alright guys, it's gonna be just about it for this video. Maybe a, a like, comment, I almost said rate, comment, and subscribe. Wait, I live in like the 1950s apparently. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more Borderlands, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye.